typewriter effect in Arabic? Well, you mean backwards? Yeah, in Arabic. Okay, let's start by creating a new composition. Click here and we're gonna name it. Name it whatever you want, come one, come two. I'm gonna name it uh, Michael. You look like a Michael. Okay, I'm gonna change a couple of settings. I'm gonna make it 4K. Why? Because everything is 4K these days, cinematic. You know what I mean? I'm gonna change the timing to five seconds. Why? Because I want five seconds. You can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna change the color. No one's gonna judge you here. Well, I'm gonna judge you here. That's why I'm gonna choosing white. Click OK, then OK again. And now we have our composition. We're gonna create some text. I'm gonna write something smart, maybe something in Arabic. Wow, mind blowing. Take that. We're gonna move it around. We're gonna mess around with it. We're gonna make sure everything is centered. We're gonna find the effects maybe here. Oh no, we can also find them here. Just type typewriter effect and we're gonna dump it. Do it from scratch. Are you crazy? It's a plugin and it is working backwards. We're gonna change the settings a little bit. Open the settings, open text, open animator number one, range selector number one. And you see these two suckers in here. Delete them, bam, bam. And we're gonna change everything to zero. And text is gone. Oh no, it's not the end of the world. We're gonna create a keyframe. We're gonna move the playhead a little bit to second number to give or take. And we're gonna change the value to zero. Sibara ni echni temos. Wow, I just came up with a new language. Whoa.